Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM WFX standing model for today's second video. Uh, we're doing our Tuesday European Outlook for the next uh, 30 days to 6 weeks, actually 42 days. Uh, it's how far out we can extend with this. So uh, I shall get off that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video we say was our 7 a.m. forecast. I've got a 10 to 14 day coming up for you uh, later on. Uh, so uh, please check out all today's videos if you'd like to do that. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing this for uh, Gav's weather vids. Uh, right, okay, just say that the um, uh, the second part of the seventh winter update was released at 6 p.m. last night. So it's a fantastic uh, watch, uh, really, really interesting uh, video. And that is uh, the seventh winter update complete now in two parts. So uh, please check out the uh, you know the seventh winter update. Both parts, part one and part two, uh, are both available on the uh, YouTube uh, homepage. In the Winter Updates playlist. Right, okay, so I'm going to start off with the uh, mean sale pressure anomaly for week one. This is going to take us from the 18th to the 25th of October. Uh, we see a classic sort of north south split across Europe this week. Low pressure is coming in with a jet stream off the Atlantic into northern and western Europe. So looking very unsettled here across the north and west of uh, Europe with plenty of uh, low pressure and uh, wind and rain around. Further south, we've got high pressure from the Azores reaching into southern uh, Europe. So much of the Mediterranean, particularly the western part of the Med, is under high pressure. And in between, we're going to have a strong jet stream pushing through uh, a little bit like that. So it could be an unsettled week this week. Um, well, it is an unsettled week this week with plenty of wind rain in the north, but mainly dry and quite mild in the south. We see this on the 500 millibar high dummy flow chart as well. Low pressure is in off the Atlantic into northern Europe. High pressure at the same time is reaching in from, uh, from, from the south of the Atlantic into southern parts of Europe. And in between, again, we have that westerly uh, jet stream moving in from the Atlantic into Europe. So the uh, temperature anomaly for week one uh, looks like this. Generally warmer than average in most of northern Europe, although Scandinavia is standing out as being colder especially central and northern parts of Scandinavia, where it's really quite cold. Temperature anomalies are going down to around 3 to 6 degrees there, below average thus far north Scandinavia. So early winter, uh, definitely biting in the extreme north of uh, Europe. And it's also cooler than average to the southern, southeastern parts of Europe as well. So uh, from the south of France into towards central Bog Med, um, Italy, around the Adriatic into Balkans, and down towards Greece and Turkey, below average to there. And then we have this large swathe of milder than average uh, temperatures covering much of uh, northern, western, and also northeastern Europe. So from Ireland and the UK in the west, now to Spain and Portugal, all the way over to northwestern parts of Russia, looking warmer than average through those areas as we draw in the wind, of course, from the southwest. And the precipitation anomaly looks like that. As you'd expect a bit of a northwest southeast split. So much of northern and western Europe coming out with above average precipitation. Of course, it is quite wet over Scandinavia. And uh, most of that precipitation, especially central northern areas, will be snow given the cold temperature anomaly. Um, further southwards, it's uh, wetter than average through the UK, through Ireland, through the low countries, Belgium, Holland and Netherlands, much of Germany, especially Western Germany, looking quite uh, wet as well. Denmark also looking wet, along with uh, the rest of Scandinavian Peninsula. Northeastern Europe is also looking uh, pretty wet as well. So, uh, yeah, we've got these northeastern areas uh, looking quite unsettled through there. Go further south, though, it does get significantly drier. Anywhere from France southwards, um, it, it's driving out, especially so from the central and western bowl of the Med and into Spain and Portugal, where it does look very, very dry, actually, under that ridge of high pressure. So, so a warm, dry week coming up for Spain. If you fancy a little bit of a late, uh, <laughs> a late holiday, <coughs> excuse me, down Spain, then it does look like they're going to have a very warm and dry week this week. Southeastern parts of Europe, again, looking a little bit of a dry on every site at the Black Sea. And then these eastern parts of Europe also are a bit of a drier than average side. 
Right, that's week one done. Let's have a look at week two. It'll be the 25th of October to the 1st of November. That's how we're looking then. So the high pressure is sort of pulling out more towards the west of Spain and Portugal. Although there is a little bit of a ridge here across the eastern part of the deep trough of low pressure in over Scandinavia. And generally a lot of low pressure for northern and at Western Europe, I think with time, with the low pressure projection is probably digging a little bit further south. So maybe turning more unsettled to the central part of the Med. What this will also be doing, I think, is start to pull in some colder air into northwestern and uh, northern parts of Europe. So it's already been pretty cool over Scandinavia for week one. I would imagine that week two will be quite cold under that trough of uh, low pressure. It looks like we might well be lining up the jet stream uh, northwest to southeast a little bit like that the precipitation the uh 500 millibar height only i should say uh looks like this so uh, again it's all connecting back to the atlantic though um so low pressure in off the atlantic into northern west europe high pressure pulling out to west of portugal so it looks like i've got a bit of a northwest southeast alignment to jet stream there through the last week of october but still looks unsettled really doesn't it especially very northern central and uh, western parts of europe in particular temperature anomaly uh, looks like that so scandinavia actually goes a little bit milder and northeastern parts of europe but it gets a little bit colder towards the uk and ireland perhaps having said that much of western europe again is looking relatively mild so northern france into southern england much of ireland low countries germany even though to poland um denmark generally it, it is a little bit mild on average through those areas spain and portugal looking quite mild the coldest temperatures or the widest area of coldest temperatures are in the southeastern part of uh, europe so again from the central part of the med through towards the eastern med and then northwards to the black sea uh cold average there including the balkans as well coming out with below average temperatures uh, for the final week of October. Precipitation-wise, uh, for week two, uh, we see that it's wetter than average across most parts of northern, uh, central and western Europe. So from Ireland right way over to the uh, west of Germany, um, west of uh, Russia, northwestern parts of Russia is wetter than average, but particularly wet through like Germany and uh, the Low Countries, perhaps eastern parts of France. That could be where the core of the wettest weather is. Unsettled with above average precipitation, some of it rain, some of it snow for Scandinavia. Uh, so very unsettled for northern West Europe. Southern Europe again looking pretty dry through this week, especially from Italy back to Spain and Portugal. Not as dry through uh, Greece and Turkey. Week three will be the first through to the 8th of November. Uh, so now it's starting to raise pressure a little bit towards Greenland, beginning to send this low pressure perhaps a bit further south. It does look like an unsettled start though to um, to November with, with low pressures widely really across many northern and west parts of Europe. We have got some higher pressure here left, a legacy of higher pressure was the eastern part of the Med, but overall much of Europe actually being covered by low pressure, and especially so for these western parts of uh, Europe, a little bit interestingly. Uh, the week three 500 millibar high to normally from the first week of November does look unsettled for northern and west Europe. The ridge is over on the eastern side of Europe where we draw up the air from uh, the south. So, uh, yeah, very unsettled uh, for northern and west Europe though, with this trough of uh, low pressure once again. The temperature anomaly from the 1st year to the 8th of November, widely milder than average, although the extreme northwest, so Scandinavia, UK and Ireland, standing out as being a little bit cooler, actually, in this week, close to average there, maybe a little bit cold now from northern Scandinavia, also Iceland, and uh, green are looking cold and average. Other than that, though, it's a, it's a sea of uh, above average temperatures right away from Spain and Portugal all the way over to eastern uh, Europe and western parts of Russia, um, west parts of Russia, widely above average. And the uh, week three precipitation anomaly, northwest to south be split, so northwestern parts of Europe, and generally western Europe, actually. So, um, you know, it extends all the way up the west side of Europe from Spain and Portugal to the UK and over to Scandinavia. Above average precipitation there. The southeastern part of Europe, again, from Italy to Black Sea, southwards to Greece and Turkey, uh, drier than average down there. Week four will be the 8th through to the 15th of November, becoming a little bit more mysterious now. So it also got some low pressure around the Azores. So that would imply like a negative 
uh, a negative NAO type pattern. Uh, might might be a little bit drier. Might be some higher pressure towards Iceland as well. So I reckon we've got like a negative NAO being hinted at here for the second week of November, which you will think in the December jet stream samples that might bring in colder air to northern or western Europe. We have got a ridge over on this eastern southeast side of Europe that could draw up uh, some warm air up the eastern side of Europe potentially. The 500 millibar height anomaly, though, uh, looks like that. We've just generally above average heights, really, through, through much of northern and uh, central and western Europe. So it looks like there's a big area of high pressure there sitting across uh, many parts of Europe, probably lower pressure up here. So that would kind of go against the negative uh, NAO type idea. But it's a very mysterious week. Uh, week, um, week four uh, precipitation anomaly, uh, just generally mild and average across most parts of Europe, especially so in these eastern parts of uh, Europe, from Germany eastwards, really. And the precipitation anomaly for week four. Um, so, again, very weak signals. It does uh, look strongly drive and average in this eastern and southeastern part of the Med, otherwise. And there's a wet and average around the Azores uh, as well. Uh, otherwise, again, it is looking a little bit uh, mysterious that week. Right, we'll just extend out to week 5 and 6, because why not? So this is week 5, means no pressure normally. So that's a 30-day forecast. And this is uh, the uh, week 5, um, mean sale pressure normally from the 15th to 22nd of November. Again, all looks quite mysterious. There's some higher pressure from the central bowl of men. Otherwise, I shall just put in uh, some question marks there, as it's not really clear what is going on in that particular week. The uh, 500 millibar height normally sort of has a ridge across the uh, western part of Europe, though. That would draw up very mild air into the west and the southwest of Europe. Precipitation normally is going to look really mild, I think, particularly for western parts of Europe. And the uh, precipitation anomaly, temperature normally, of course, precipitation anomaly, uh, again, uh, just looks uh, very mysterious, very weak signals. And then week six is going to be the 22nd, 29th of November, and it looks like that. So a little bit of low pressure in the Atlantic may be starting to turn wetter and windier in the west of Europe again. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. Uh, so above average heights across western and southwest parts of Europe. And again, we'll draw up some very, very mild air into the west and the north of Europe. The precipitation anomaly will continue to be above average, particularly so for western Europe. So the warm autumn goes on. And the uh, Five, uh, the precipitation normally finally looks like that. And it's a bit wet and average just to our west. But again, really, really weak signals. Right, so uh, that's it. Interesting outlook. It looks like we've got pretty strong signals. Really, for weeks one, two, three. And then beyond that, I don't think there's all that much of signal. Although, you know, printing lies probably just going to be very mild, really, across much of Western Europe, as it has been. You know, been in a long, long run of, of warm weather right from early uh, early September. And that just goes on, uh, if this is right, um, you know, uh, right way to the end of November for Western Europe. All uh, right, OK, that's it. Just a snapshot. It could all look very different when we look at this again on Friday. And we'll be focusing on Ireland and the UK, of course, for that one. Uh, but that's your uh, EC European outlook for the next uh, for the next extended period, the next four to six weeks. Right, we'll be back later on. We take to fourteen day. That's going to include all our great features. So come back for that. Ben, uh, for this video, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.